It's actually going to be World Hepatitis Day on Saturday. We're taking the opportunity to celebrate uh, the event and uh, what it can do and the information here in Ottawa today at the Youth Service Bureau. Uh, we're starting at 1 o'clock and joining us is the Hepatitis C Prevention Educator at YSB. This is Susie Yim. Great to have you on the show. Uh, thanks so, for having me. A big day on Saturday and we're kind of bringing uh, some of the influence of what that day is going to represent here today. So can you give us a quick rundown of what today is about for you guys? Uh, sure. I guess it's about, as you said, raising awareness for Saturday, so World Hepatitis Day. Um, but it's also a time to just to celebrate, to have fun, um, enjoy the weather. If we break down, because there's two different, there's the information about hepatitis C, and there's also the ability for a lot of the youth to come in and to celebrate and have a fun, yeah. fun day. So let's talk about the hep hepatitis C first off. This is information that you want to be able to get out to the youth uh, because it, it can affect them in certain ways and you want to get certain information out. Yeah, hepatitis C is, uh, uh, so it's World Hepatitis Day, but uh, I work within hepatitis C specifically. And it's a pretty common virus that affects like 1 in 12 Canadians. Uh, different populations have higher rates of it, um, but because it really, it can affect anybody, um, we want to be able to raise awareness about the virus. There's certain ways that it's, it's transmitted, and that's the information as well you want to get out to some of these kids. Yeah. Um, it's transmitted through blood, so um, I think it, it can get confusing. Some people might think it's sexually transmitted. It's, it's not really. It's a blood-to-blood -blood kind of uh, transmission. So, I mean, sharing a toothbrush uh, could, could potentially... It was the, the, the toothbrush. The toothbrush yeah. for me was surprising, but I guess so. You know, if some you have bleeding gums, and then the next person picks it up, and the same thing. I mean, it was something that I, I know, but it was something yeah. I had actually hadn't thought about. Uh, information yeah. for them. You're expecting, uh, you know, hoping between 50 and 100 kids there today. Yeah, that'd be great. So well, they'll come in. They'll get information. There's a kind of interactive. You know, how how are you hoping to to inspire them to come and to listen? Uh, we've been doing outreach to different agencies um, online to try and get people to, to come. When they come, there'll be activities. Uh, the youth um, at YSB and youth from Jair's Vision are going to come in and run some activities. Uh, there's going to be a barbecue. That's usually a pretty good draw for people. And uh, we're going to have a dunk tank. So youth will have the opportunity to, to uh, dunk the staff, which right. will be fun. Which will be you. Which will you, be yes, me. Yes, yeah. one of the staff, you know, but it's interesting for them to be able to come in and see an educator in that sense, have fun, that you yeah. want to be able to provide the education and yet at the same time, you know what, at this point, take a, take a chance and I'll, I'll dunk yeah. in the tank. <laughs> Are you looking forward to this? This is something you've been preparing for a while. Yeah, it's uh, something that myself and the team of youth that I work with, so I work with four peer educators. Uh, so they're all uh, young people who do youth outreach, do youth education, so they're, they're really the ones on the front line. So we've been prepping for it for the past, uh, past while. Does it need to be youth today if there's, if there's you know, parents out there or youth that want to be able to, to come out today that they have to be people that have dropped into the centre before or you're looking for mm -hmm. any member or anyone who's interested to come and check out the Bureau itself because there's so many things that, that you guys offer there. That, yeah, that's true. So it's, uh, it's open to the public. Uh, generally, the drop-in uh, wouldn't be so open, but we want to make it more accessible. Um, it's targeted for youth, so you're probably going to see mostly youth and service providers that are there. But I mean, if uh, people, other people are interested, by all means. By all means. All right, and it's uh, starting today at one o'clock, and we'll run through right around five, four thirty, five o'clock. You're thinking? Yeah, definitely until five. We've got our one of our staff coming in who. Uh, is a really good sport. He's going to get dunked at 4.30 and a lot of the... Okay. They're youth, waiting for that yeah, one. They're waiting for it. <laughs> Keep that in mind. And of course, it's located uh, right down here in the downtown for the Youth Services Bureau. Thank you so much. Good luck today. Have fun. Thank you.